Friday Night Health continues. Our guest is Courtney uh, Amundson. She has written a book, Teachings from God, uh, Greeting Your Soul and Revealing the Divine Within. Before we went to our break, I asked Courtney if she'd heard of a book called Why Bad Things Happen to Good People. And I wanted to ask Courtney, why do some people have to suffer? Why do anybody, why does anybody have to suffer? I I mean, I understand life lessons, but, you know, pancreatic cancer, uh, uh, other tremendous diseases, it just doesn't seem right if there's a, a... a divine light, divine spirit. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy that you brought that up because, you know, I think it's the foundational piece to being human. It's, it's hard to imagine, you know, if there's this amazing source energy that, you know, or God, how, why do we still have to go through these things? And if we're part of God, then why don't we have the ability to just remove our suffering? And... You know, a big thing, almost humorous thing that I'm reminded of many times by spirit is whenever I get caught up on a subject like this where, similar to you, I just, I don't get it, what they tell me is, don't think like a human. Because from the higher perspective, there is no such thing as good or bad. There's no such thing as wrong and right. And... As I said, every you know, but every, divine, but the divine teachings. I mean, the Bible. You know, thou shall not murder, thou shall not steal. Right. That that, that is good and bad, right True. and wrong. True. And and also, I think, though, you know, many works like that, they're, you know, they're they are interpreted by human beings. That part and is so. True. So we're still thinking like humans. And even as you're reading a book like mine, where it explains these things, it's hard to not get caught up in the mind. And I'll be honest about that. It is hard. And it's hard to understand because we don't see from that perspective. We see from a three-dimensional perspective. But, you know, what I've learned is suffering on this planet is never going to go away. And we're never going to get to a place where it just purely doesn't exist. But we will get to a place where we're able to see the purpose of it and we're able to shift our perspective of it enough to where we can grace through it with more ease. And it can, it can still happen, but we're able to not let it plow us down. So, when somebody is suffering, it is especially a loved one, and it, it hurts. I mean, it's a physical hurt. It does. Uh, when you watched your grandmother it, going through her uh, transition, mm-hmm. that had to have hurt not only her, but you. Yes, on so many levels. And, you know, that's that's where, you know, the human being really feels it. Because even with a higher perspective, you're still going through those human emotions. And you're still watching a physical being you know, getting depleted of their life force. And that's, it's hard to watch. But I really became humbled by life, seeing that process. And I saw, you know, even as the physical body was depleted, the spirit was so strong. And even after, you know, she had became not able to speak anymore, there was such a connection to the universe something that I, you know, I ha- you can't see until somebody's really, you know, the veil is lifting a little bit more. In and your in in your personal life, you know, interacting with your grandmother, you channel spirits and uh, much like uh, Esther Hicks did or does. Mm-hmm. Is that how and and my question is, do you do you find that that when it's personal, it's harder or easier for that answer to come through, or do you not necessarily get answers? Well, I I don't really focus on 
on channeling specific entities of that sort. I'm not a, a medium, but, um, but the source that I channel is, you know, pure love and light source, which basically means it's a collective of energies. It's like how they explain it to me in an, in an analogy is a big pot of soup. That's source energy. It's a big pot of soup. And within that pot of soup, there's different flavors and diff- different textures. And Well, that's what uh, Esther Hick- Hicks says about Abraham, I think. Oh, really? Okay. Right? Uh, that that it's not a single entity. Yeah, well, yes. yes right? It's, 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 it's multiple. Well, listen, uh, good luck with the book, uh, Teachings from God. We're going to have a picture of... Courtney on our website as well as a link to her website to get the book Teachings from God. I thank you very much for spending some time with us. Uh, Courtney's back in Minnesota where she told us it was minus 17 degrees and we think it's cold here in California where it's hovering around 59 or 60 and I'm cold. But I thank you very much for your time, Courtney, and we uh, look forward to talking soon. Hold on again. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hold on. I'm Mark Allen. Coming up next, we're going to talk about uh, eye health here on Late Night Health. We'll talk about glaucoma in the baby boomer generation. Uh, Don't go away. More coming up here on Late Night Health.